Welcome back to America Idol. America, you voted. And here are your final three information resources. Google, your librarian, and Uncle George. Let's hear what our judges had to say about each one of them. Hey dogs, hey dogs, what it is, what it was, and what it will be. Yo, yo, listen just for a minute. Google, Google, man, you got it going on. I mean, you got it going on up there. All those images and the videos and giving us all like three million hits on a turn to look through. Woo! I mean, can you ask for more? Thanks, Randy. But, uh, but, but tell me this, tell me this just for a minute. Why do I need like three million pages on a subject? A subject like, like dogs. I mean, that seems like a little too much information to read about one subject. I go there and I see hounds, I see weenie dogs, I see spaniels, I see golden dogs, fat dogs, flying dogs, dogs on skateboards. I mean, <laughs> dude, it's just a little too much. That's what I'm saying, it's just a little too much and, and I get the feeling you're not genuine about it. I just get that feeling, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's just the way I feel, that's just the way I feel about it. Well, and how do you know what's true and what's not true? You mean accuracy, Paula? Well, yeah, he knew what I meant. <laughs> I just put it out there. I give it all I've got and lay it on the line and let the public decide. Right or wrong, I gather the information and give it to them, and it's up to them. It's just who I am. That's a rather snarky attitude, especially where children are concerned. Hey, it is what it is. Easy, but not always accurate. <laughs> and I have a question for you, Uncle George. Shoot, Simon. I know it all. Where exactly does your information come from? From a lifetime of experience and a degree from a school of hard knocks. <laughs> so, you read a lot? Nope. Watch a lot of TV, though. Especially game shows. You can sure learn a lot from there. So, most of your facts and information come from game shows? A lot of it. That, and late night specials, and that internet. For example, did you know that we really didn't land on the moon? It was all done in the studio, and chlorine in the water, it contains stuff that controls your mind. And you can't get fat from eating sugar. That's all a lie. <laughs> Uncle George, do you even know how to use a computer, really? I do. I do email. You get a lot of good information from this stuff called spam. I think it causes like food. It fills you up. Well, uh, Uncle George, uh, what if someone asks you a question and you just don't know the answer? I usually tries to make something up so I won't look ignorant. <laughs> I see. And so for our third finalist, the librarian. Hi, Paula. Where does your information come from? Paula, I use a variety of sources for information. Databases, reference books, studies, even the internet once the site has been evaluated and verified. The important thing about information is to be certain it's valid and current. So you had training. Yes, I have to admit, I'm not an amateur in this competition. I have a master's degree. Well, this competition isn't about being an amateur. It's about being a professional and about supplying America with the very best information and the most accurate information possible. I agree, Simon. I want to share my talent with anyone and everyone. It's important that America is information literate and learns how to evaluate information. 
That is my job, my calling, to help people to be information literate. Week after week, you come out here and you tell us what we need to hear, not what we want to hear, what we need to hear. You cut through all the mumbo jumbo. You're what this competition is all about. Well, that's it. Now it's up to you, America. Who do you choose for your information needs? Will it be Google? Your librarian? Our Uncle George. Don't be idle, America. The choice is up to you.